Hi, I'm Michaela with TechWise Academy. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today we're going to be going over one of our favorite coding resources and that is Code.org. Code.org is entirely free and it is block based. So we'll go through some of the basics and we're gonna go through one of our favorite puzzles today. And that puzzle is going to be course A lesson nine. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. On the screen is code.org. We're gonna go into the learn section. And then grades K to five, we're gonna hit the K to five course. And then course A, and we're doing lesson nine today. So this is loops with Laurel. We're going to skip number one because number one is actually a video. It's a fantastic video, but we're going to skip it for the sake of this. And just before I forget, if one, if this box comes up, just click somewhere off the screen and we can close out of this. I do have my site muted right now. So that way you can hear me just a little bit better. So it will make noise when you get the gems. You won't hear it on my screen because I have my site muted. So first we've got our gameplay area over here. This is where we're going to see what the character does. This is where we're going to see what the code runs. We've got run down here where this will run the entire code. Or we've got step which will do one line at a time. Here we've got our directions up at the top and you've got a speaker button over here. This is our tool area where our coding blocks live. And this is where our workspace is. This is where we're going to drag out our blocks. So for this one, it says free play. This is Laurel the Adventurer. Move her around to get as much treasure as you can. So I don't have to get all of them. And this little goal right here says that I only need to get one out of one. So I can get more, but I only have to get one. Drag the blocks into the workspace and try to figure out how to get the treasure. Get at least one item to pass this level. So what I could do is I'm going to go over, looks like I need to go over to the east, one, two. And I'm going to break this down or decompose this into smaller problems. So I'm gonna just see if I can get to this diamond. And this is not like our BB-8 one where BB-8 will just run over and pick up the gem. Laurel will actually have to be told to pick it up or to get it. So I'm gonna have her just try to get to this specific treasure spot. Excellent. And now, since she's standing on it, and I see that there's a stack of one here, I'm going to tell her to get it. I did notice that there is a pattern here. So if I go over, 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 that's a pattern. So I'm going to actually do this two different ways. And I am going to get all of them. I know I don't have to, but just in case you chose to get all of them, I will go ahead and do that. So I would need to be moved here. And then I would need to go here again because otherwise if I tell her to pick it right here, she's going to be trying to pick the air and that is not going to work. We need to have a space or we need to have a diamond in a space before she will actually be able to get it. And then I'm going to go and use two more east and we will have her pick up that diamond. So this is using a lot of blocks and there's a lot of blocks that are repeating. So east, east, diamond, east, east, diamond, east, east, diamond. This is all a pattern, and this would solve our challenge right here of getting the diamonds, but I could do this faster. I could use a repeat loop. So whatever is repeating, east, east, diamond, that's one, east, east, diamond, that's two, east, east, diamond, that's three. So east, east, diamond actually repeats itself three times. So I'm gonna put east, east, oops, if it does look like this, that means that it's kind of grayed out and it did not click in, which means that the code will only run this. So we need to make sure that this is inside and it is this tealy blue. And instead of having it do five times, we're gonna have her do three times. This exact code, this longer one, is this one. Cause I will go east, east, diamond. And then in the computer will say, was that three times? Nope, okay. So we'll do east, east, diamond again. Was that three times? Nope. East, east, diamond, one more time. Yes, now that is three. It's the exact same code, except it's a little bit shorter and it saves us space on the work area as well. Computers are great at using loops because they don't get tired. They don't have to go get a snack. They don't have to go use the restroom. They don't need to go to bed at night. They will just keep going until either the loop is complete or the computer programmer tells it to stop. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit run on this one and she will move over and perfect so we've gotten three out of the necessary one and then it's going to look like it wants me to hit that that button i just hit was reset this will come up and it will start laurel over so that way laurel can do the code from the exact top so that way 
she will run this exact code as it is written, as opposed to if she were standing right here, and then I hit run, the code would have a different outcome. So I'm gonna hit reset, and I should have a finish one here. I'm not quite sure why finish isn't showing up. Maybe it wants me to use, maybe it doesn't like that I have unused code here. Let me try that. So I am picking up the diamonds, and I have met the goal. Oh, perfect, there we go. I think that it just didn't like that I had unused code there. So if this screen comes up, this is a great indicator for you to pause the video. So if that way, if you wanna do puzzle three by yourself, you're more than welcome to do so. Or if you want more time to explore the blocks on puzzle two, this is a great sign or a great page that says, hey, you can pause the video if you so choose to do so. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue so that we can move on to the next puzzle. And this one, it says get all three piles. Move Laurel to each pile of treasure or each piece of treasure and use the get block. So I'm gonna have her move over one and then, so she would be here. I'm gonna have her move over again so that she's, oops, so that she's standing on top of this diamond and I'm going to have her get it, move over, get it, move over, and get it. I have another pattern here, except now it says east, east, get, east, get, east, get. But the pattern is actually east, get, east, get, east, get. This is the part that's repeating over and over and over again. So if I wanted to, I could put this part outside of the repeat loop because I don't want this part to repeat because that would mean that I would go over east three times, which would be one, two, and three, and I would miss this diamond. So that's why I'm putting east outside of the loop so that way when I hit run, we'll move one space over and then we could go over, let me scooch this over, east diamond. I'm not sure if it's gonna let me finish it. I may have to delete this, but before I do, this exact code is the exact same right here. I will hit run and see if it lets me go on from here. We're collecting the diamonds. It does not seem to like this. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back in the trash can just by clicking and dragging. And I can hit this reset button as many times as I want. There's no penalty for me in doing that. Again, you can pause the video here if you so choose to do so. This one is an excellent video. It kind of explains loops a little bit more in detail, gives you some really good examples. We're gonna go ahead and hit continue because we're not going to watch it right now, but it is a great video. So this one, ooh, I now have a number over here. Hmm. It says, how can Lowell get all five piles of tre treasure using only one east block? Well, I don't know how to do that because if I, I need to move over and pick it up, move over, pick it up, move over, pick it up, move over, pick it up. That's a pattern. So we're going to do this. This, pos this puzzle is possible with a repeat loop. So first, I want her to move over first. The sequence matters here, because if I put it like this, if I were to put it here, Laurel's gonna try to pick the air and then move over. And there's nothing on this space for her to pick, so we need to make sure that we go east first and then pick up the diamond. So she should go east, diamond, east, diamond, east, diamond, east, diamond, east, diamond, and she should do that a total of five times. You'll also notice that this has become a zero. That means I have no more blocks of this. It will let you use them out here. So if seeing this, building the code this way, if this helps you see the pattern, by all means, that is perfectly fine. It's a great way to decompose this problem. And since I don't think it's going to let me finish the lesson with this, we're going to put this over here and let's hit run. Excellent so far. And I like that it's showing you the counter. I'm actually gonna go ahead and reset that because I want to point out something that I forgot to mention on puzzle two. So if I hit run, you're going to see that there's a yellow box going around our coding blocks. So that's code.org's way of telling you that which, which line of code it's doing right at this moment. So you're going to see it go yellow, yellow, and then it'll go back up. The other thing I want to point out is that this workspace, it says four out of four. Code.org says that this puzzle is possible using four blocks, including the one run. So this is one, the repeat loop is two, the east block is three, and this get block is four. So I have used four out of four blocks, and I will have a green circle for this puzzle, which just means that I used it in the fastest or least amount of blocks possible. If you have a light green circle up here, that's cool too. That just means that there might have been a faster way to do it. Maybe you had some extra blocks, but you still did it, and you should still be proud of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let Laurel complete this puzzle. 
and we'll be able to hit finish and move on to the next one. And then this should come up perfect. This one says, fix Laurel's path to get all of this treasure. When this comes up, traditionally our repeat loops are pink. They usually look like this, but for whatever reason, now they're gray. That just means that I can't delete it. So I can't take it apart. I can't, I can't move it. It's kind of like stuck in stone here, if you will. So what I can move is I can move these blue ones, but for right now, and it looks like I don't have any more. So it looks like I'm only going to be able to use one of these. For right now, I'm going to leave it just to see what they gave me. I want to see what if there's any bugs that they've given me or any mistakes that I have to go through and fix. So I like to start with the code that they've given me. So I'm going to go ahead and hit run just to see where we're at. Oh, it looks like Laurel actually went too far. It didn't look like we needed five. So one, two, three, four. So I really don't need five. So that is going to be our first bug. And then it should give me here, which just means I need to move down and then I'm going to get it. I don't want this code to look like this because this is not my pattern. This would be a east, diamond, south, diamond, east, diamond, south, diamond. And that's not our pattern. So we want to make sure that this is outside of the repeat loop so that we do east, diamond, east, diamond, east, diamond, east, diamond. We want to do that four times before we move south to get that diamond that's kind of hanging off over here. So there's that yellow box that's going around telling me the code that I'm running right now and Laura was able to get all of those diamonds. Wonderful. This one is pretty much the exact same as lesson six, except this time we're going west instead of east. So with that knowledge, I'm going to take what I learned on this one and I could go back to these if I wanted to. I can click on them and move back. So I'm gonna move west and that puts me on this grid and there is a diamond here, so I'm going to be able to get that. So let's have Laurel go over and do that. And I'm just worried about this top part. That's kind of the part where I'm decomposing this. I'm taking this big problem and breaking it down to small problems. So I got just this part. But now I can see that I need to go south and I need to get that last diamond that's hanging out over there. So I decomposed it by I saw these all in a pattern. And once that pattern changed, I was able to see that this was a just a two step problem. It's a tiny problem. This one is very, very similar to the last one, except now we have uh, three diamonds over here as opposed to just the one that we had prior, prior to. So it says add blocks to this code to get all of the treasure. So something isn't quite right here. And it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to use any more west blocks and I cannot use any more south blocks. So I wanna see what this does. It looks like if I'm reading this code, I should go over and pick up this one over, get this one over, get this one over, get this one, and then I should go down and get this one. So that's what I think this would happen if I read the code as it is written, but I'm going to run it just to make sure that there aren't any other bugs that I might have been missing. Perfect, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen, but I can't keep going down anymore. So it looks like I'm gonna have to use another repeat loop because my next line of code would be go down and then get up, get the gem. Go down, and get the gem. So I'm going to put this in a repeat loop. Let me see if I can get it perfect. And I think I only need it to do it three times. But since this is a pattern and I no longer have any more self blocks, I'm going to have this repeat. And remember these grayed blocks means they're kind of like grayed in stone. They can't be, they can be moved, but they just can't be deleted. It'll even tell you that it can't be deleted. And now that takes us to puzzle number nine. This is a little bit more advanced because now I'm gonna go three directions, whereas previously I was only going this way and then down. So it looks like they are extending my path so that I need to go west, south, and east again. And I'm gonna check out this code. This looks very familiar from where I just left off in puzzle eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if it's just the exact same code, because if it is, then there's no use in me changing it. So we should be going east. Perfect, that's exactly where I, I thought we should end. So now all I have to do is get this line of code. So I got this line, that was small problem number one. I got this line, small problem number two, and this will be small problem number three. And it is a pattern. East, diamond, east, diamond, east, diamond, east, diamond, east, diamond. And it's repeating itself five times. So I'm gonna change this to a five, and I'm going to look and see the first thing that I wanna do is move over to the east. So I will move over, and when I move over, I don't wanna just put five east because then I would just go one, two, three, four, five, and I would miss all of these diamonds, but I would be standing on top of this one. 
So I want to make sure that I include this one so that the pattern is east, diamond, east, diamond, east, diamond, as opposed to just going east, 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 east. So we've got this one. This part was given for us. This part was also given for us. And then this is the part that we added together. So hopefully Laura will be able to get it. And I was able to get 12 out of 12. Excellent. This one it looks very similar to Puzzle 9, except it's reverse. And so instead of starting up here and going to the west, I'm going to start at the bottom and go to the east first. So I will drag this one out. One, two, three, four. Looks like we're going to go over four times. And I don't want it to just be three. Let's do that. And then that should take me to this bottom corner. And I should be able to pick up this diamond if I'm not mistaken. Excellent. Now I need north diamond, north diamond, north diamond. So that's a repeating pattern as well. So we're going to have north and we'll have them pick up the diamond. Now this time I should, this is small problem number one. This time I should be able to complete small problem number two. So we're breaking this down because this can be kind of an overwhelming challenge. And we're going to break it down into smaller, more manageable problems. So it's not so scary and it's easier, easier for us to focus on exactly one thing. So right now I'm focusing on just this line. So I need to go west and I need to pick up some diamonds. And three looks good because I have one, two, three diamonds left to pick up. So this first part, we're going to do this small problem. This is going to be the second small problem. And then lastly, this is going to be the third small problem. So this big problem was actually just made up of three smaller problems. Puzzle 11 is a challenge puzzle. It says, challenge puzzles are lessons designed to stretch your brain. Just do the best that you can. So I'm ready. I think I'm ready for a challenge. Ooh, this is kind of this is kind of daunting. This is kind of scary. I see I could go over. There's two gems here. There's two gems here. So two over, two up, two over, two up, two over, two up. It's a pattern. It's like a staircase. So code.org says I can do this in 19 blocks. Let's see if I go over. That's the first thing. I am not going to use my repeat loop because while I do see the pattern, I sometimes find it easier to write that out with all of these blocks as opposed to trying to figure out where they go in the repeat loop. So my first small problem is I need to get to, to the space and then I need to pick it up. And then I would need to go over to this space and then pick up that diamond while I'm standing on it. And then if I did that, I would be here. So now I need to go over to the north, pick up the diamond. I would be here, go over to the north again, Let's see, north, and get the diamond. That takes me, I should be able to get these five right here, which then tells me I should go over, pick it up, over, pick it up, up, pick it up, up, pick it up, over, pick it up, over, pick it up, up, pick it up, and up, pick it up. So this actually repeats three times. So we'll put all of this and you'll notice how the repeat loop just stretches around it. That's perfectly fine. And question marks at the top means it doesn't know how many times we would like it to repeat. So I'd like to put a three in there and it's going to run this code and it's going to run through it three entirely different times. And then now it's running its last time. Wonderful. Laurel was able, oops, let's it finish. Laurel was able to get the diamonds. It says we have completed the puzzle. And this one is very similar to the last one. We just don't have such a long pattern. There is still a pattern here, but just not quite as long as other patterns have been. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to need to move her to the east. That tells her to stand on a diamond, so we'll have her stand on it. Let's have her move east again and pick up this diamond. That should take me right here. And I'm going to make sure that I'm right because it's easier for me to debug or find mistakes pretty early on. So I've only written four lines of code and I was able to check for errors pretty quickly. But if I had written a hundred lines of code, it would have taken me a lot longer and I might've found an error that was early on. And now I have to go figure out which line of code it's in. So I do see a pattern here. We're gonna go down, get the diamond, down, get the diamond. So one, two, three, four, five. This is going to be a repeat loop. And let's go five times. So we need to go down and then we need to pick up that diamond while we're walking past it. So I reset her. This is a pattern, east diamond, east diamond. However, I chose not to put it in the repeat loop 
just so that you could see some various options of this code. So now I've got another block that I need to add. However, I did just notice if I am trying to do this in 10 blocks or under, I mean, I'm going to have to put this in a repeat loop since this does repeat over east, over east. It only repeats two times, but that's all it needs for it to start a pattern. So I will go ahead and use the repeat loop here and we'll do east so that she would be here and then we need to get the diamond. And I'm gonna have her do that two times. So I did use one too many blocks. So if I go ahead and I take this off and I put, this will at least save me one block so I won't have that extra repeat down here. And I'm gonna have her do it two times. Wonderful, and I'm gonna check the sequence on this. So I'm gonna hit reset. I do need her to go east first, and then down, and then east some more. Wonderful. Sequence, by the way, just means the order something happens. So when I said I'm checking the sequence, I'm making sure that my code is in the right order or the correct sequence. Like a book has a sequence, beginning, middle, and end, all of those things. And then this one is puzzle 13. This is very similar as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do over to the west this time. So I will use west and then we'll have her get her diamond. So west, diamond, west, diamond. Let's have her do that three times. And then she's going to be here. And that means that she's going to need another repeat loop because this is all a pattern. Move self, pick it up, move self, pick it up, move self, pick it up. So let's have her do let's have her do four times because she would be right here. So she would need to go down first and then do her diamond collection. Perfect. I believe oops, I hit reset right after I hit run. Oh, I did not have her repeat that. My error was that I did not have her go over far enough. So she stopped here when I really needed her to go over here. I'm gonna see if that helps my pattern. Beautiful, now Laurel should be able to get these last two. Nope, not quite, so that's okay, that's an easy fix. And then so I would have been here, and I would have had a, let's see, I would have turned east, and then I would get the diamond while I'm standing on it, and we'll have you do that two times since there's only gonna be two diamonds left. So I have told Laurel to rerun the code, hopefully this time without errors or mistakes, but if we do make errors or mistakes, they're okay. That's how we learn. And then this bottom part of the code, Laurel got all the diamonds. Wonderful. And then for this lesson, or this puzzle, this is pretty much a free-for-all. It says, Eureka, get as much treasure as you can. You don't have to get it all. So we do have to get at least one. But I do enjoy this level. There are lots of different ways you could do this. You could go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, and so on and so forth. We can go up and down the rows. We could go columns by columns. There's a lot of ways that we could do this. So for right now, I'm gonna go east and then uh, go pick that up. Let's have her do one, two, three, four, five. Let's have her do five times, please. And then let's hit run just to see what happens. Oh, I went east, that is an error. I actually needed to go to the west. So I will fix that error really quickly. And then we've gotten all of those. Let's go ahead and let's see. We can either go down back over this way or we could go all the way down. We could zigzag them out. Let's go all the way down for right now. So let's have it go south and then get your diamond. And we'll do that like three, let's see, one, two, three, four, four times. Oops, there we go. And I could keep going on this if I wanted to. Oh, I would need five times on that. I could keep going if I want on this, but I think that I understand the purpose of it. So I'm actually going to hit finish. Awesome. And then we have actually just finished lesson nine on course A. So I hope you had a lot of fun working through those problems. Remember to take a big problem and break it down into smaller problems 
make those big problems a little bit less scary and a little bit more easy to manage. And let us know what was your favorite one. Did you try out the repeat loops? What puzzles were you really proud of completing? You're like, yes, I did that. Let us know in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye. Let's go.